This is a video just showing a pilonidal cyst on an MRI. Uh, so um, basically here, just to orient you, we're looking at uh, MRI uh, slices. Uh, we're looking at the sacroiliac joint on the right and over here on the left, and then here's the sacrum. And you can just see the start of the, um, the well, you can see the sacral canal here and a little bit of the sacral hiatus. And if I start scrolling down, we get down to lower sacrum, right where the arrow is here. Computer's a little sluggish, but coming down here, we can see the uh, the uh, coccyx on cross section here, that oval shaped uh, white structure, and then here is the pilonidal cyst. So this bright white uh, structure on this particular uh, on this particular uh, type of uh, MRI image. Uh, where basically the uh, white structure here is the pilonidal cyst and then this white line extending to the surface um, because uh, out here this is the, the skin out here, coccyx there, so the pilonidal cyst has a track or fistula track, a connection or tunnel coming down to the, uh, you know, to the surface of the skin right there. And here you can just see the line, that's the track. Um, and the coccyx has now disappeared, so we're actually now below the coccyx. So the pilonidal cyst was right at the back of the coccyx, uh, slightly to um, this side here. So this is the midline, so uh, slightly to this side. Um, this is actually slightly to the left of midline. I know that on the image it looks like it's to the right, but that's because uh, the way the patient is laying, um, you know, the way the image is taken, uh, things over here on this side of the screen uh, will be on the patient's right side, whereas this side of the screen over here will be the patient's left side. Uh, so this is just slightly to the side.